is going on Scorpio gang welcome back to the channel elevated spirits it's Jazzy your reader for today this is going to be your full moon reading that is happening on the 7th the 8th depending on where you're located um so this is for all Scorpio placements um these are the only readings that are um time specific so this one is specifically for the full moon that's happening on November 7th um so we're gonna get this one's reading is definitely gonna be different than the readings that I've been doing for you guys lately so um stay tuned for that I'm super excited um to dive into that so we're gonna as normal get some signs and numbers you guys might be seeing at this time that may be of significance to you and then we'll dive into your reading okay so let's get some numbers um also if you guys would look to like to book a personal reading remember all first-time clients receive a 20, 15 to 25 minute free complimentary coaching call with me if you would like that um all that information my um social media handles the way to donate to the channel look at my um check out my etsy um wish list any other information about me you can find in the description box below okay so let's get some numbers so we have 12 some of you um, may be a life path number 12 you may be born on the 12th you may have a 12 year old this may be um the energies at this time and the full moon may be playing out in your 12th house all right you may want to check that out where that um what sign falls in your 12th house okay so we have six so six may be of significance to you at this time um you may be seeing 666 you may be seeing 1212 six and six is 12 so you may be um those numbers may be of significance you may be born on the six and you have a six-year-old these energies may be playing out in your sixth house okay and then we have three so three three plus three is six six plus six is twelve so there may be some um connections being made this week <laughs> during this time um you may be born on the third you may be a life path number three or this may be playing out in your third house um you may be seeing three 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 you may be 33 years old all right so let's get some signs you guys might be dealing with or maybe have significance to you or just the energies that you guys are embodying remember that um we're energetic be energetic beings so that means that we can embody um, the traits of any sign at any any given moment doesn't matter the gender so keep that in mind <clears throat> so Scorpio nope Virgo sorry <laughs> you guys might be dealing with Virgo you may be embodying the traits of a Virgo you guys might be hermiting maybe spending more time with yourself maybe doing some introspection kind of like looking at your life right now seeing what needs to change what needs to um, leave so it can you can make room for new right? so Gemini maybe of significance you may be a Gemini maybe dealing with one or embodying the traits of a Gemini okay and then we have Leo. So um, you may be dealing with Leo. Leo may be of significance to you at this time. So I'm going to get some messages here. In spirit. I'm going to get your Oracle cards out first. And then we'll clarify um, those questions with Tarot. Okay. So let's see. All right, Spirit. So what, we're going to find out what is Spirit asking you guys to release with this deck. I'm going to be using um, shit, seven, I believe seven different decks today. It's not... Um, I'm not going to get a bunch of cards of each, but just, you know, letting y'all know. So it's time to release negativity. That's at the bottom. So you guys may be um, being guided to release um, maybe friendships or connections, um, just energy all over, all around that may just um, not be serving you at this time. Okay. So let's see. Find out what spirit wants you guys to focus on the most at this time. Right. I'm breaking out a whole bunch of old decks that I've had that I've put away. Um, and it was just like, I want to change. I need to change. So I'm breaking out some old decks y'all haven't seen in a while. Okay. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. And these are, if you're, like I said, if you're new, then you definitely haven't seen me use these, um, these decks on my channel yet. So these are ones that I've had for a few years. I just, I put them away because I'm moving and a bunch of different stuff. So I'm just, you know, yeah. All right. So I'll take both of those. I was only going to take one, but we have blessings at the bottom. So definitely feel like some, um, positive things are definitely coming in for you at this time Scorpio um I would definitely prepare for that I feel like that's part of why spirit is asking you guys to um, release negative energy release negativity at this time because it's it's spirit is I feel like positioning you guys to um you know get ready for all the blessings that are about to come into your life that with this full moon it's it's definitely the time of um manifestation but it's also the time of clearing away releasing the old to make room for the new okay um especially with the new year coming up like yeah definitely time so let's see how can you assist this process so spirit, how can scorpios assist this process okay and then we have at the bottom you've earned all your stripes hell yeah so it's like 
know that all the things all the great things that are about to come to you at this time scorpio know that you've earned them you've earned all of your success okay all the things that you've allowed yourself to release all the things you've allowed yourself to heal from i definitely feel like some of you with that 12 that came out at the beginning um some of you are definitely going through an awakening at this time you guys are maybe i feel like spending a lot of time with yourself some of you may be going through a dark night of the soul um if you're familiar with what that is let's see what's some what's the good stuff what are some good things that are coming towards you at this time with this full moon what are the good things that to look forward to beautiful and at the bottom we have chariot charge ahead with confidence stay strong and focused hell yeah all right so let's get you guys a money card talk about all this as we clarify with the channel all right so Spirit, a money card for Scorpio for this full moon. Get a money card for Scorpio. I haven't used this deck in quite some time either, so it looks all fresh because I haven't <laughs> I haven't touched it. Alright. Ooh, hell yeah. At the bottom celebrate. So y'all definitely got some great things coming in up um for this time, Scorpio, with this um with this uh full moon energy <sighs> all right so let's get into this reading so what spirit's asking you guys to release is um i feel like there's things that are definitely changing so it's kind of like i feel like spirit's asking you guys to release the things that you know need to be let go of because there are some powerful changes that are ahead and spirit's um trying to position you to prepare for them okay so let's get some more about that with the tarot spirit can you clarify that card please I feel like where some of you guys feel like you're stuck, like you can't move, like you don't know, you know, what direction to go, or you're kind of like something that you're thinking a little too much about. It could be, it could have to do with um, letting some back in your life, someone that um, maybe is wanting another chance with you. That could be something that's changing um, or that's, you know, like happening at this time. And I feel like some of you guys may be really kind of like nervous about it, maybe kind of like, that was weird. Oh, I was like, I don't know, did a card fall? I can tell. Um, but yeah, it's like, I feel like some of you, this is about a reconciliation energy here. And I feel like some of you may be really overthinking it. You may be really, really in your head about whether or not you should do this. Um, but I feel like Spirit is saying that if you want it, it could work. But it's going to be, it's going to be up to you. Okay. And we have, shit, we have three eights here and the hangman again. So that was that 12 energy that I was talking about earlier. Where I feel like some of you are going through a transformation. Here it is clarifying that so i definitely feel like at this time scorpio um spirit is asking you guys to really release um you know what what didn't work before because something new and better is coming in i feel like it's going to come in it's happening really quickly um speed is about to start really picking up for you guys we have th literally out of the five cards i pulled right here or that came out um three of them are eight three of them are, are number eights so I really feel like spirit is asking you guys at this time to you know just release the things that are that make you anxious the things that make you question yourself that make you doubt yourself that make you um you know unsure about what you should do or if you should do something it's like it's time to let all that stuff go if it's a person whether it's a connection a job whatever it is an environment that's putting you in the space of questioning yourself making you feel like you're stuck like you're trapped like you can't do anything um, I feel like you guys are about to have a lot of reasons to celebrate, but spirit is needing you guys to really um, let go of the things that didn't work, the things that you feel like was a loss. If you learn something from it, it's never a loss, but spirit is definitely asking you guys to walk away, um, you know, from things that don't serve you because like I said, things are about to start taking off in a really um, quick direction. Okay, so what spirit wants you guys to focus on with this full moon energy is I feel like the way you feel about yourself. Okay, some of you have a career in beauty. Um, some of you may be thinking about maybe starting a career um, in the beauty industry. And I feel like for some of you, it may be something that you've been putting off, something you've been kind of like putting on the back burner, um, kind of like not really taking action on. And I feel like it could have to do with um, what spirit is asking you to release. Or I feel like some of you really want to dive into this field, but you're kind of maybe questioning it because of maybe if it's something you, you've you tried to do before, you've tried to pursue at you know a time in the past, it maybe didn't work. I feel like it's because it just wasn't the right time. Okay. Now, if there's, <clears throat> if this is like have to do with a connection or relationship that is, you know, um, making you question yourself, making you doubt yourself, making you overthink, you know, um, you know, what you're trying to pursue. That's why spirit is asking you to let go of it. Okay. Um, this time I feel like spirit wants you guys to really get out 
you know, socialize, um, get around other people, get around other energies, because I really feel like, um, you know, spirit wants you to put your focus more on yourself, on loving yourself, um, you know, appreciating yourself, appreciating all the things about yourself that maybe people um, bullied you about when you were younger, the things that people may have, um, like maybe parts and just aspects of you, of yourself that you may have not always completely loved and appreciated. This is what spirit wants you guys to focus on at this time and really, um, allow yourself to love more on those parts of yourself. Okay. Um, because I definitely feel like there's some changes that are happening with your, it could definitely be with your career. Some of you guys may be going into a whole different industry, an industry that maybe is unfamiliar or one that you're really not, um, like, I feel like one that you are really interested in, but you maybe question yourself. You maybe doubt yourself. Maybe you doubt that, oh, well, I don't have enough experience or you may, some of you may be comparing yourself to other people and we need to not do that. Okay. You need to not compare yourself to other people. That's like the, one of the biggest, biggest, um, like, I don't, I don't want to say blockages, but one of the biggest, like the biggest um, mistakes you can make, right? In pursuing something, especially if it's new. I've, I've done that. So <laughs> let me just say, all right, spirit. Can you clarify? <clears throat> That's beauty and color for, what do you want my focus on? Can you clarify these cards, please? What do you want Scorpio to focus on? Yeah. Um, taking one step at a time, being practical, take your time, you know, don't rush whatever it is that you're doing. Um, make sure that you're that you're focused though. Whatever you're going for, make sure that it's it's what you want to do, and you're not letting anybody else sway you. Not you're letting anybody else change your mind. This is you believing in yourself. This is you, you know, defending yourself, protecting your energy. Um, you know, taking things one step at a time, taking your time, but being practical about it. You know, this is you leaving you know things behind, even if it means taking like the bare minimum. Um, but focusing on your journey ahead. You know, knowing that spirit is backing you in whatever it is that you're pursuing at this time. Um, loving yourself enough to put yourself first, to put your your needs, your wants, your desires on the forefront. Um, but yeah, make sure you're not rushing, you know, being practical, making the plans that you need to make, making the phone calls. Um, this could have to do with the partnership that um, some of you, you know, maybe coming into some partnership that's going to help you um, take these next steps is going to help you with the planning process. But, that, but I also feel like this is connecting <clears throat> to your higher self, you know, because the Two of Cups can definitely be a partnership, could definitely be a relationship. But this could also be, um, this also is about you connecting with your higher self, being on the same page as how you, uh, you know, essentially attract your divine partner is by you being in union with yourself first, being in union with your own internal feminine masculine energy to then call in this divine counterpart. So I feel like that's what some of you could be doing and you might meet this person, you know, with this, whatever this um, career change for some of you, you know, is with whatever this is or whatever this is that you're pursuing, you could meet this partner um, during this time. feel like um for some of you this is about you moving because of a career some of you may be having to move because of a career and maybe your partner doesn't want you to go or is kind of like maybe um for some of you kind of like giving you pushback on on making this change but this is a time to really focus on what you want well focus on what is right for you what is best for you for some of you it may um it may you know I feel like for some of you, this spirit is guiding you guys to leave something behind and it could have to do with a partnership or a relationship that you need to let go of because for some of you, it's stagnating your career. There's things that are changing in your career or maybe increasing or up leveling in some type of way. And I feel like there could be a partnership that is holding that back. And that is what spirit is asking you to release because once you walk away from this, um, this connection, whatever this is for you, that I feel like some of you feel stuck or trapped in, that is where things are going to start taking off in a major way. I feel like it's something that has maybe been taking a long time to come about um, and it's and it's time that I feel like it's like you've been waiting for this opportunity for a really long time and I feel like spirit is now saying this is your time this is your chance this is I'm hearing this is your time to shine so I feel like Scorpios this is really the time for you guys to really buckle down and decide that this is what I want and stand your ground and that defend you know all the progress you've made up, up until this point like if that's what it is that you want if that's where you're being guided to go what you're being guided to do what your soul is calling you for this is the time to do it and it's time for you to really stand up for yourself to really um you know decide in that you know tell this this connection let them know like you know i love you but i gotta do this if that's you know what this is because um because <clears throat> how you're able to assist this process is understand that endings are inevitable okay 37 and <clears throat> some of you might be 37, some of you might be 22, and take control of your own narrative. So 
this is about how you can assist this situation or assist this process is knowing that you know nothing lasts forever okay endings are bound to happen and you know it's just a matter of some seasons last longer than others so understanding where it is that you like understand that you are the operant power you are the operant you know um creator of your reality so that means that you get to decide ultimately how this plays out okay um you just i a lot of people don't realize even for myself i didn't know for a long time that that's how powerful we are it's not just about manifesting and you know that type of thing but it's also you get to decide so it's like if you know like you're going into an interview for example and you really want to you know ace it and win everybody over um that has you get to decide how that plays out like you would before you go into it start playing in your mind looping in your mind how it's going to go how that conversation is going to go i just did that the other day um with my sister my friend that like i haven't spoke to in years just you know life has kind of like you know kind of pushed us apart for a while and I was I was nervous like I didn't know how she was gonna respond I didn't know if she would write me back when I reached out to her like I didn't know anything but I did loop in my mind what I wanted what I essentially how I wanted the conversations to go and when I finally did open up and read her text message there were parts of there in that text message that I had in my mind spoken on so it's you know it's like you essentially decide how you and it was and I decided like this is going to turn out way better than I thought and she's going to be happy to hear from me and da 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 and and she was and that was exactly what was in the damn text message and I was like holy shit like I was not expecting to go like that but again you decide how things play out for you you know and if it's meant for you if it's for something that's really meant for you it will play out that way you just have to trust that process so <clears throat> This is you deciding that not everything is meant to, to go with you. Not every person um, is meant to go with you. Not every connection is going to last, you know, as long as others. But yeah, it's going to be important for you guys to follow your intuition at this time and move on. You know, allow yourself to leave things behind that need to be left behind. Um, even if that means that you're, you know, pack. it's funny how I said that, how I said packing and taking the bare minimum. And here we are with the Six of Swords. That's essentially what the Six of Swords also represents is, um, you know, it's like she's, she's, you know, on a boat and you know, basically she has one suitcase with her, you know, she's not, she doesn't have, you know, a whole, a bunch of bags and a bunch of suitcases and baggages and, you know, a bunch of different things. She's like, you know, taking like one suitcase and, you know, off. So I feel like for some of you, that's where, this is where spirit is saying that it's time for you to really follow your intuition. I know that, um, everything ends, everything eventually comes to an end, you know, it's just seasons last longer than others. So, you know, endings are going to happen. Everything eventually comes to an end. So, you know, if, if you know that you're being guided to leave something behind or to make a move for some of you, this is regarding a move that you need to make. And it's about, you know, making the practical plans and standing your ground in that, you know, making, continuing to take your time and make the plans that will essentially help you make this move. Um, for some of you, this is definitely moving home. For some of you, this is, you know, leaving a connection behind and, you know, going on like a more solo journey. You'll know where that fits you. But um, like I said, if you want this to play out in a more smooth way, start looping in your mind how you want this to play out because essentially you have that that ability to, ability to create that, okay? Because I definitely feel like with the devil at the bottom here, um, there's a, I feel like there, I'm getting there's like a codependent energy here that um, some of you need to be aware of, okay? You might be, there may be some fear surrounding this move because it's i feel like for some of you it's something new it could have to do with you you know choosing yourself loving yourself enough to you know take this uh, take on a new career or pursue a career for some of you but essentially you have the ability to decide how this plays out for you okay so the good stuff that you can look forward to though is fool you have the courage to embrace change take risks and be adventurous wow that's dope we all saw i shuffled all the cards and let them pop out for you the way spirit wanted them to. So it's it, this is right in alignment with that. That this is spirit confirming that if you, Scorpio, decide to take this risk, okay, even though you may be overthinking it, you may be kind of questioning yourself, you may not be really sure if it's gonna work, there may be, you know, doubts in your mind. This is spirit saying that if you have the courage, you know, to be adventurous, things are gonna, you know, turn out well for you. Okay. So we have mechanic. Mend what needs mending, but it might be broken, but all is not lost. Consider a career as a mechanic, automotive, aerospace, or a repair technician. You have the ability to easily fix your finances, but a sacrifice might be needed. So I feel like for some of you, that is what this sacrifice is. Or some of you, if you may have been like struggling financially or kind of like having a hard time, really it feels like your money for some of you is really coming in very, very slowly. Okay. I feel like that's where spirit is saying when you make this move, when whatever this is that you're being guided to do, you follow your intuition and trust the universe and make this move. Okay. 
take the bare minimum and just know that that could be the sacrifice that spirit is asking you guys to take at this time but it will pay off okay i feel like it really it's it really will pay off okay let's get some more clarify this um clarify this card spirit please for scorpio Hell yeah. Some of you might be meeting your divine counterpart. If you're masculine, you might be meeting your empress. For others of you, this is you coming into your own. Really coming, like mastering all the queens because there's only one empress, but there are four queens. And to be an empress, you have to have mastered all the other queens. So for some of you, if you are a um, feminine watching this, this is what you can look forward to, that you're abundant, you have plenty, that everything that maybe you sacrifice to make this move, you're going to have more than enough. Like the spirit is waiting for you to take this leap and make the sacrifice to maybe leave things or people behind or maybe not leave them behind, but, you know, kind of take a move, take a risk, take a jump, a leap on your own, you know, where it's maybe not leaving them behind, but it may feel like that, right? Doesn't mean that you have to maybe cut complete connections with people or completely stop talking to them. But I feel like for some of you, this is requiring you to make a move that maybe is really um, probably the, for some of you, the biggest leap of your life, right? And this is what you have to look forward to is having all your needs met, being completely taken care of, not having to want or need for anything. OK, because that is essentially what the Empress is. She's giving birth to new ideas. For some of you, you may end up pregnant. You may have end up having another baby. OK. Oh, yeah. Spirit, clarify, please. But this is for some of you, like I said, a birthing a new idea, maybe a new career. You may be um, birthing a new business okay it could have to do with the beauty industry because you're going through an awakening this is a major time for you guys i feel like this is about you when you shift your perspective that is when you realize how abundant you are how taken care of you are how provided you are how provided for you are okay um where it's like you you coming into so much abundance coming into your own power because you allowed your, your perspective to change because you've seen your you allowed yourself to see this opportunity or this situation from a whole different lens of perspective that's bringing you into this empress energy here wow that's beautiful spirit can i have one more please one more and like i said at the bottom of this um money card is celebrate you guys are going to have underneath that is options you guys are going to have more options than you realize okay celebrate you've accomplished so much and you will accomplish much more Take some time off and celebrate your success. You deserve it. There may be unforeseen increase in your income. So yeah, it's like you guys, when you shift your perspective about something and realize that this, you know, taking this leap, you may not see it now, but making a sacrifice, choosing to trust the universe and make this sacrifice and take this, take this, you know, fool's journey here, like just like the fool card in tarot, that's when, you know, you come in to realize that, wow, I have everything I need. Everything that I thought I lost or I thought I wouldn't have, I have plenty and even more because you allowed yourself to see it from that perspective that it could happen that it was possible and that you deserved it right because the empress knows her worth the empress knows that you know i deserve to live a life of luxury i deserve to have all of my needs met i deserve to not have to want for anything and that is mastering all the other queens mastering your thoughts mastering your emotions mastering your um your passions your desires right knowing when to go for things knowing when to you know put it in check right and mastering your money mastering being able to you know save mastering you know being able to invest whatever that is okay <clears throat> so can I have one more we'll wrap with some advice if you guys have stuck around up until this point i'm so grateful for you i would really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up okay consider subbing to the channel Ooh. all right so like i said you guys might be meeting your divine masculine your divine counterpart at work okay um some of you you may be coming into union with a divine counterpart that's really going to put in the work that's really going to put in the effort towards um you know this this connection okay for others of you this is you becoming your own boss here with the page of pentacles some of you may be starting a new business and you may be being your own boss okay for some of you you may be starting a business with a divine masculine for silver like i said for some of you you're either moving with a partner and you guys are going to start a business together that's going to be really really successful or others of you may be meeting a partner when you make this move and you guys might be starting a business together you guys might end up be end up meeting your divine counterpart and then starting a business with them like building an empire with your own you know person here okay like 
these are coming up right up under each other okay and these are three major out of the four cards here that i pulled for the good stuff coming three of them are major arcanas major arcanas are events that are in, unchangeable they're going to happen one way or another so if this is like spirit saying okay scorpio you're going to be successful regardless this is the divine feminine masculine energy so even if you're not in a partnership this is you being in complete alignment with yourself this is your divine feminine and masculine energy. When you align to that energy within, like I explained earlier with the two of cups, being in alignment with your higher self, you then have no choice but to attract that same divine counterpart that's on your level, on your frequency, that's just as powerful as you are. This is an ultimate power couple here. So some of you may be coming into meeting your power couple partner. Like you guys may be, you know, meeting your, your divine counterpart and y'all are becoming a power couple together, working, you know, work in creating multiple streams of income for some of you okay because you allowed yourself to shift your perspective and awaken to a new opportunity to a new idea to a new way of living being doing that allowed you to take that risk and then meeting okay your divine counterpart that you're gonna end up maybe for some of you i feel like really create an empire with that's fucking dope that is amazing all right spirit let's get some advice what is some advice for scorpios please for this full moon I definitely feel like this is a move that if you guys make, you're not going to regret it. You're not. That's, I think, what, what's going to be the title of your video. You're not going to regret this move, okay? Spirit is saying to save here, okay? Maybe keep your plans that you um, that you guys are planning right now. Keep them to yourself, okay? Continue to work. Continue to, you know, focus on what you're building. Focus on what you're creating. Take your time. Make sure you're being mindful of where you're putting your time, energy, and effort. And be patient as you wait, okay? Um, <clears throat> take action as you're guided. But um, just know that a breakthrough is coming. If you're anything that you're maybe overthinking or confused about, okay, when you release that energy, that is where you get the clarity, okay? You get the clarity you need by continuing to um, do what you're guided to do. Tap into your intuition, okay? Continue to tap into your intuition because that's what we talked about here with how you can assist the process is tapping into your higher self and following the guidance that you're given. Because one thing that I've learned about the intuition is that it's not always going to tell you what you want to hear. It's not going to always cupcake things and give you balloons and butterflies and popsicles and shit. It's going to always be real with you. So if, if your intuition is telling you that you may need to make a sacrifice, but it's going to fucking work, do that shit. You're not going to regret it, okay? Because some of you are definitely coming to a breakthrough. You're going to have a breakthrough here. Your breakthrough is on the other side of you making this move, making this decision, okay? making the sacrifice to leave things or situations or people behind, you know, maybe not leaving them, but, you know, relocating for some of you. That's where your breakthrough is on the other side of that, on the other side of that decision. So, you know, make it happen. Save your money and, and keep what you're doing to yourself. Some of you are coming into some type of stability. They're going to need to save and, and invest properly for this, for this move to really, <clears throat> I feel like, flow smoothly for you. Okay. So, anything else, Spirit? Oh, you know what? Let's get let's get one of these. One of these to wrap. First Scorpios, please here. Scorpios. All right. Hell yeah. Know your worth. Know your worth is right here. Know your worth. You deserve this. Whatever all this abundance that's coming with this move. Scorpios, you deserve this. You've earned this. So know your worth. Know that you deserve a life of luxury. You deserve to have a new career. You deserve to have a, a brand new start. Whatever that is for you. Okay. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. So Scorpios, that is what I have for you for this full moon. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you get some clarity, some insight to your situation, some encouragement, some inspiration. Okay. You can take forth on your journey. I love y'all so much. If you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you have not. 